Hey everyone, so I was looking at this and I was inspired to do a rainbow. So I'm going to use these outer colors. I'm mixing that and that together. I don't like the lime green, so I'll mix it with the aqua to get a darker green, so to speak. I'm going to be moving my way around this like that. I'll start with that orange red. And that orange. And now that yellow. And then I'm going to mix the two greens. to that bluish color it might it looks like almost like an indigo And we'll do the purple. That's this purple right here. And I'm just gonna go over it again just to blend it in a little better. I'm not trying to blend them into each other. I'm just they're a little streaky right now. I'm going to go with um, this color, like a purpley pink color right there, just to blend out the edges right there. And I'm going to take creme brulee from uh, Wet n Wild.
Okay, so I'm gonna finish my makeup and I'll be right back. Hey everyone, so this is the finished look. Um, I just used my Sunset Junction, um, the whole thing. And um, I used my Natural Matte Innocence and Rome Milani lip products, pencil, lipstick, and so I went with a nude. It was just the first nude I can pull out. I, I didn't want such a light nude, but that was the first thing I can pull out. <laughs> and I also, and I really not crazy about putting red, but that's the only color I didn't use. So I put red on the, the this pinkish color right here, the middle color was the only color I didn't use. So I put that on my inner corners, but um, cheese me no likey. Um, if I could find something else, I would put it over it like a shimmer. She cheese me no likey. I hope everyone who's seen this has seen Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's what I did very quickly. Just want to talk about my hair. I don't think that the Color Tango CT18 was meant to be mixed with the Violet Additive. I put, uh, I think, three drops of it, three capfuls, because two of the capfuls were like, you know, a bunch of it just spilled out. And the front of my hair is too dark of a gray, and the parts that I re-bleached, the roots, didn't really take that well. So I got this state, like a, a light, very light golden color. And then the rest is a dark gray. And I that's what happened to me the first time I tried doing this with the um, got to be. And it just makes me look like a, like a hag. So um, I decided, like I said last week I was going to do, I just used my blue one of these. I still had some left over. And I used a big fluffy brush. And I just brushed the blue through my hair because that dark gray was just... Again, cheese me no like it. So anyway, <laughs> as for my nails, um, I'm an Asia, and uh, you probably know what that means if you're Puerto Rican. And um, this nail, I mean, my nails were super long. They were starting to hurt, but they look so pretty. I, did, I, I would just file them down a little. I didn't want to cut them. And this middle one, if you remember, I said when I bleached it, it lifted, and I kept putting the the resin on and the bio set and it was still lifting so I did it again and it was just you could it was just lifting in the corners and I, and I guess I had to do groceries and I was stressing out I was stressed out every time we do groceries now because you can't find what you need in the stores and I started biting it and I ripped it off and it lasted through the next day yesterday I scrubbed the, no, not yesterday. The day before yesterday, I scrubbed the house, well, the bathroom, the sink, the tub, um, as much as I could because my body was hurting already from the day before going to a couple of stores looking for what I needed. And um, it survived all of that. It survived. I wear gloves. It survived me cleaning the bathroom. And then since I was just dripping in sweat, I said, let me put in, the, you know, wash my hair and do the toner. And it did not survive me washing my hair. I was just really trying to get out everything from the roots. I was, you know, really scrubbing in there. And it didn't survive that. And since I'm not, since the coconut oil is very liquidy, I don't have to dip my hand in there anymore. I could just pour it in the palm of my hand and put it in my hair. So my nails aren't, aren't as strong as they were before. So it ripped off. So basically, I just cut all my nails down and just wrap the ones that needed wrapping and um you know use my bio resin and then a little tiny bit of the gel again just to finish it and um since it is april i just i like going by the birthstone i have yellow um gray nail polish with a silver kaleidoscope type of glitter on top so it's really pretty that silver on top so anyway that's what i did and um so yeah, uh, <laughs> the next time I'm using T10, um, and um, yeah, but my only saving grace about this hair is that it, it does fade out with a couple of washes. So 
next time I'm going to try to do better with my roots. Um, I, I bought tea tree oil, yes to tea tree oil for this itchy, irritated scalp. They have a pre-wash and then they have an after thingy. Um, but you know, all of that helped me with my scalp and, um, yeah, next time it's T10. And then finally the rainbow. <laughs> if I had help, I'd probably put my hand to a bunch of little ponytails and do it all over, but since this is just me, I'm just going to stripe it. All right, guys, I love you and I will see you next week. And, and just an FYI, by the end of the month. I'm not sure what's going on with Wet n Wild, but they should be releasing their summer collection. Let's see. All right. Anyway, love you all. Bye.